السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی ہیو ا پریزنٹیشن آن کمپریہنسو لٹریچر ریویو آن سائمنٹینیس لوکلائزیشن اینڈ میپنگ دیٹ از سلام الگوریتھم فار موبائل روبوٹس وی ار ورکنگ آن دا موبائل روبوٹس اینڈ یوزنگ ا ٹیکنالوجی اف سلام وچ از نون ایز سائمنٹینیس لوکلائزیشن اینڈ میپنگ سو فرسٹ اف آل واٹ از دا کانٹینٹس اف دا سلائڈ In the main content of the slide is the concept of simultaneous localization and mapping SLAM and then I'll address it regarding the SLAM and mathematical formulation in the standard bison form then common solution to the SLAM problem and recent events of the SLAM is our last slide of the presentation So first of all we are talking about the concept regarding the SLAM Generally in robotics and geometry competition SLAM is observed to be a computational solution for updating or constructing the maps of the unknowing environment. It uses various, uh, various types of algorithm to develop the maps. First of all, a map is created by using the local uh, position of the device, uh, device or robot which we are using to make the map of the local environment and after tracking the different features of the environment, a map will be generated. So this uh, this uh, maps technology is known as simultaneous localization and uh, and mapping that is SLAM. Various uh, type of algorithm and mathematical equation uh, are used to make the map of that location according to different scholars they have presented various uh, approaches uh, how we solve the problem. So the, the most common approach to measure this issue is the Bison's formula. This is Bison theorem that we will discuss in the next slide. Uh, and also, the, uh, this uh, SLAM is the process by which a, a, a local map is constructed based on the local environment and results are deduced. It. Yeah. Uh, in the other way, we can also say SLAM also make the trajectory of the landmarkings and also. Uh, give a map with uh, some certain features like there is a mountain, there is uh, some type of grass uh, that has been grown or there is some crop. So all these features only one camera in the device is uh, like the report. He will click and uh, he will throw some uh, 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 throw some type of uh, uh, lens, uh, lenses or beams which will measure the different uh, type of uh, aspects of that uh, area by using this uh, technology which we have given to them in the report. So we will discuss further how we will measure the uh, different aspects of the area by using the SLAM technology. Early developments of SLAM. Uh, current now, uh, currently we are using the two types of early development formulas approaches static element filter uh, and convenience intersection by using the graph slam these are the earlier developments which are going and early developments so we are using the robots and uh, self-driven cars and unnamed uh, aerial vehicles autonomous vehicles uh, also we are using this in the parental rover, new domestic robots and uh, even inside the human body we are using this type of technology of SLAM we give the predefined uh, algorithm uh, to different uh, devices and then we uh, we measure the uh, map of that uh, location even if we put uh, it inside the, the vein of our body it will measure different obstacles at which location, at which time, uh, at which part of the body the obstacle is occurring. The this SLAM technology will give the map of that location by making the video and by after making the video by algorithm which we have given, already defined that if such type of uh, image occurs, then this will be considered as uh, uh, this uh, is as a restriction in the vein of the body so that will be highlighted so this is the common uh, early development as and common solution to the different uh, health disorders next slide mathematical formulation in the standard uh, bison form so this uh, bison theorem this was presented in the 18th century and it is being used
widely in different type of uh, scenarios it is based on the probability that what is the probability of occurring any event it, it will give us the probability standard by some theorem so we give some probability formulas that if uh, there are some uh, lines uh, around a body and it will make like a circle that this this will draw the circle on the map is similarly if there are some lines which are uh, in the form of uh, like uh, a triangular shape then it will make uh, a mountain so uh, based on the probability uh, what are the chances chances probability mean chances of occurring so by making some dots around the uh, uh, around the image which is available we can make a visual map of that image by using the mathematical formulation of the bison which have which have been given in the 18th century and still it is the base of the statistics and it is being used uh, even for calculating the risk of the borrowers uh, in the different uh, types of banks this is type of probability that what is the probability of occurring any event if the probability of raining is uh, if every year become uh, rain in one location then the probability will be 100% that this year will also be rain similarly in the map we make some things probabilistic that if uh, this this type of shape then uh, we will give it uh, we will consider it a circle or triangle or a rectangle or any kind of thing uh, and which we are going to make in the map so we will uh, give the predefined algorithm uh, to measure the map of the uh, that environment by uh, it, it is based on purely thomas bice theorem of 18th century there are some location of different uh, authors in the next slide i will show you suppose we have a vehicle and uh, this vehicle is using automatic and it is autopilot and uh, we are uh, first of all we have to measure the landmarks that what is present uh, uh, we have to measure the location of the vehicle that what is present around the vehicle so this will be made uh, by the factor sk we have considered sk uh, and it will just uh, the camera of the vehicle will make the image of the surrounding that there is a hurdle there is a straight road or there is uh, a bridge or there is a, uh, a railway crossing there is uh, probabilistic uh, uh, shapes uh, will measure will give the signal to the vehicle that there is some type time of a red signal so the uh, vehicle will give the response the control of the uk uh, and the vehicle will be stopped or it will be moved to another direction which is also mi or it will be stopped and that key is the observation of the vehicle uh, location landmark and with respect to time so this r values will be input into the formulas and we will give the algorithm and and different uh, responses from the vehicle it will be computed by using the uh, by using the formulas by taking the different uh, variables like probabilist probability location probabilistic controls and probabilistic landmarks uh, all this x not a uk value that, that will be incorporated uh, by using the coding and uh, mathematical equation like uh, this is uh, one of the equation of the probability that, that uh, uh, probability of occurring an event so that event by using this equation will be defined uh, similarly we will sum up all the events and make some results this results will give the reactions and that reaction will be used by the vehicle either it will be stopped or it will keep on moving or it will get the highest speed this type of all these variables we can use this bison theorem and we can take them as a variable similarly common solution to the slam this common solution which i have already defined kelman wilters and particle wilter mont carlo method these are the known techniques which are used filter kelman filter by name it is clear that a filtration method will be used it will filter the uh, 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 landmarks that whether it is circle whether it is a mountain whether it is 
but what we have algorithm given to that it it will similarly some of gaussian it approach in between these two some, some of gaussian is also used that we make the sum of all the uh, parameters or indicators which we are computing by using the camera and we will make the sum average and uh, after averaging we will deduce a result that what is the thing which is present in front of the robot or in front of the car whether it is should be stop or should keep on moving these are the most common <laughs> solution which are being used these are having very detailed equations uh, in the design phase uh, that will be used uh, in the software development of the robot uh, so this is a basic uh, concept about the solution of the slam similarly in the uh, common solution is also there we, we put the laser beam towards an object and that beam is restricted uh, at some distances and that uh, image uh, laser come back to the uh, uh, sig uh, signal provider robot and then uh, robot make the decision with it there is some uh, hurdle at the front of the uh, robot or at the side of the vehicle Uh, even there are some vehicles which are having sensors in the left, right, and right, which cannot strike with the other car in the case of accident. It will break automatically. So the, the rate of accident will also be drawn. So this slam technology may also be used uh, as a sensing uh, as a, as a sensing uh, uh, vehicles which can sense around them when they have to be stopped. Uh, recent trends of the slam slam is just now 152 million uh, world business 2019 and it is expected to get 375 million by 2030 augmented reality has been very popular autopilot vehicle which i have i have described they are being very famous in the uh, world they are different uh, different application like uber they, they are using the auto vehicles in the transport system of us and uh, without uh, any driver uh, people are using this type of vehicles and they are reaching their destination so these are the recent trends of the uh, slam slam vehicles also consume less uh, fuel that's why they are environment friendly that uh, more focused and slam vehicles have less accident exposure and they have less casualties as well on the road so this type of uh, technology is now the trend uh, of the market in such an event when there is covid-19 a corona virus problem and then even we can uh, use this in the medical uh, medical this technology can be used in the medical field we can uh, sense the uh, patient by his eyes his body his gesture his body language by his uh, temperature and this type of signals we can use them to make a bison formula to make a result that what is the problem to that particular person whether he is uh, infected by covid or not without touching and without uh, making any interaction with a person we can deduce the result by using this technology so i hope this may help you a lot thank you very much these are the references regarding the slam technology and any question you can ask thank you very much ji yeah, no, no.